I'm going to show you how I'm using liquid plastic to reinforce my 3D printed C3PO. I'll be showing you on C3PO shorts and his back. These pieces are fresh off the printer, and before we reinforce them, I'm going to quickly fuse them together. I'll be using this plastic welding kit that I got off of Amazon. I've been using it a lot for this C3PO project, and I absolutely love it. If you want to see a more in-depth breakdown on how to use it, I tagged that video above. So go check that out later. So we have all of our metal staples in. Then I tried to fill in the seams with some scrap filament. Using the flat melting piece on the plastic welder tool. Now I'm going to go along the exterior of the shorts and tape off all those seams. I'm also going to completely tape off the leg holes. Then we're going to repeat the same taping process for the back. And just like the leg holes, I'm also going to tape off the shoulder holes. Now we can move on to the liquid plastic. For this, I'm using SmoothCast 300. We have a part A and a part B. Before we use them, we're shaking both up really well. I made a marker on my first plastic bottle to know how much I'm measuring. We're going to do the same amount of part A and part B and mix all together. I'm going to start by pouring about half of it in. And with that half, I'm going to start the tilting process to try to evenly distribute it across the model. Then we'll add the rest of it in and rock it till we feel like it's about evenly covered. And set that aside. Now we're going to move on to C3PO shorts and repeat the process. So same amounts of part A and part B. Mix, mix, mix. And then we'll start pouring that into the shorts. This time I poured all of it in at once because we have a very large piece to work with. And I'm just going to slowly rotate him around, trying to get that as evenly distributed as possible. That tape we had earlier is really going to come in handy about now. It should help prevent some leaks. The SmoothCast 300 will cure in about 7 to 10 minutes. In this time lapse, you can see it start to change colors. I love the contrast on the black filament. You really can start seeing it switch. And I gave it about 30 minutes before I decided to go in for our second coat. After all said and done, the full cure is going to take about 4 to 6 hours. We're going to follow the same process for the second coat as we did the first. The only difference is I'm going to be using the sponge brush to get us into those hard to reach areas. I want to try to make sure everything gets a nice reinforcement. Then we'll pick it up and tilt everything around again. Before sending it off to the side. We're going to go back in the same process with the shorts. And here we are waiting to cure. The hardness is improved substantially by using this. And for a piece I'm going to be wearing, I feel way more comfortable that it's not going to break. As you can see with the lighting change, it's now dark. So we've passed our four to six hour waiting mark. So now we can peel off all that tape and I can finish cleaning up the print. The tape was much easier to get off of C-3PO's back than the shorts. Some of the sections were very stubborn on the shorts. But my suspicion is those were the areas that I didn't fill in with a lot of scrap filament during our plastic welding stage. In between peeling off the tape, I'm also using a utility knife to work on those jagged edges where the liquid plastic bonded to the tape. It was surprisingly easy to clean up. And always make sure you're cutting away from yourself. Safety first, it's a very sharp knife. And it is looking so much better. Let's get the last bit of tape off. And then my next stage of the process is going to be removing layer lines. So if you want to see more on that, check out my other videos. And if you want to see this C-3PO project continue to evolve, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching.